Hi, I'm Fox. Uh, I'm Ray Wolf, from Couch Cat. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show. Uh, if you tuned in, we do a weekly show here where we hack all kinds of electronics, mod things, get them to do cool, not originally Bender intended, approved. approved things. And tonight's going to be the, the, what do you call this? Not quite the Holy Grail, but the new un unhackable un item that is now hackable. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the big deal. If you watch this is the one that everybody's been waiting for. If you watched our previous episode, they jailbroke the PS3, and we showed you how to install it on an Android phone. Now we're going to show you how to actually install some programs. Yes. And now you can do things that no one thought you'd ever get to do on a PS3. And it's taken how many years? Uh, how long has it been out? <laughs> well, uh, that's a fast Say so I read about what PlayStation One came out in '95. <laughs> so that's that's not the that's not the same. Thing. <coughs> mm, yeah, I think no. it's like 2005. Yeah. I think it's five years old. Five years old. Wow. It's five yeah. years, it's five it's years. It's pretty. It's held its ground for a long yeah. time then. Because you know, there's been active hacking on attempts on this. Yeah, time. yeah. Oh yeah, people yeah. have been trying forever. And I think I don't know if it's because of the other OS getting taken away that they really tried hard or because the other OS didn't have an export. There might be a correlation there yeah. and somebody trying to enable that functionality again they discovered something interesting. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, um, so what the jailbreak lets you do is run unsigned third party code. Yes. Which means it doesn't have to be approved by Sony. Exactly. So it can be anything you want. Right. So what's one of the things that Sony wouldn't approve for on their system? Um, backup ledgers. Uh, yeah, so you could you could copy your your disks to run off the hard drive. Yep. Um, the other th big thing is competitors' hardware, like Nintendo hardware. Yes, like emulators. Yes, you'll probably never see a Mario game on Sony within our lifetime. But the other well, thing that people not have been for putting sale out, at least. <laughs> yeah, so the danger here is um, unsigned code is also um, anybody could put something out there. So there's already an exploit out there for malicious code, and that will break your PS3. And so if you had anything on there that you needed to be backed up, what should you back that up with? Mosey! Wow, where else would you go? Best $5 insurance plan I know of. Yes, and you can use our coupon code right there, maybe, if it doesn't kill our stream. Right there, <laughs> yes, right there. Use our code and you can save 15% forever. Yeah, and the, and the cool thing is, is like on this PS3, you can FTP in and pull off all your contents and back it up through your computer or online, off-site. Yeah, because so. where are you going to put all these backups? Once you make these backups, you back up your backups. <laughs> <laughs> How do you back up your backups? Yeah, uh, I'm backing up my PS3 <laughs> game, and it's now, you know, uh, well, it's 23 gig disc, and I'm using 19 gigs on the game. Um, these, are, these are games you own, by the way. Yes. Yeah, of yes. course. Yeah. It's a fun okay. game. All right. Yeah, that, 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 that was, I was pretty, on top of that was, it. That was pretty slick, but I was busy kind of sleeping or in my own little um, oh, days. See, you, you wasted your enthusiasm. I, I, stopped doing, he, I, I had to stop doing it. I saw the entry point. All right, so here's the tutorial. This is, this is, <laughs> this is how you do this. He's it, teaching. It, it, it couldn't be simpler. It couldn't. Well, no, I, I don't know. know. I, don't, I, I don't know. We've seen some really simple. <laughs> it's, it's pretty simple. Basically, you take any um, USB stick that's fat formatted. A fat stick, okay. Yeah, a fat <laughs> stick. <laughs> so you're, you're uh, default formatting in Windows on a... A fat stick. <laughs> you know, the, the format that it comes on when you buy it, you don't have to reformat it. <laughs> and you, uh, you download the package. So I'll... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> You got the fat, <laughs> the fat stick package. <laughs> so, continue. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. What, so, what, what package do you need? It's okay. So, it's a PKJ P package format. What does what does that mean? This is just an installer package. Yeah, it's, a, it's an installer package. So the people that wrote this piece of home, really, they just put it into a package. Okay. And you uh, put it on your USB device, a mass storage device. Okay. Plug it into your PlayStation 3 while it's booted up in the jailbroken mode. Oh, so you can select boot it up in the jailbreak mode. Right. So uh, that's one of the things we didn't cover in the previous episode. Okay. Is you need to make sure that you always have the device 
um, plugged in to your PS3, when you power it on and hit eject, to boot up into jailbroken mode. It has to be, it's, it's essentially tethered. It's not jailbreak. a permanent firmware. Yeah, it's not a permanent jailbreak, it's, it's tethered, so you always have to have the USB stick or phone or calculator or whatever you're using Arduino or whatever the device is that you have this this code that executes off the USB plug and so I mean you're not flashing firmware so this is a really safe jailbreak method. yeah it is a very safe jailbreak method um, with the exception of you can install unsigned code which is where you get scared and apparently there there may or may not be a PSP emulator that apparently bricks the whole thing mm. so so worth it Hey, so, anyway, trusted sources <coughs> when you get these things. <laughs> yeah, put your PS3 up into jailbreak mode, plug in your USB stick, and just browse to it. Huh? Yeah, just browse to the pack, package and uh, install it. So really basically just simple. unzips it or... Yeah, it's exactly it. like you're installing a demo or anything else. Just yeah, like, yeah just it, just, uh, it just installs, real simple, and then it goes in with all your other games. Um, so we have a bunch of homebrew on here. We've got an FTP program so that we can... Transfer stuff to the PS3. stuff to the PS3 ROMs whatever. There's the Sega Saturn emulator. Uh, there's different backup programs, and here's our Super Nintendo game. This is emulator. This is the homebrew app that you load on everything. If it yeah. runs an emulator, you're golden. This is this is the hotness. That's not working. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, the other thing to know about this um, uh, Super Nintendo emulator is that it's version what? I think it's like point one, point one. or maybe point zero one. <laughs> but nonetheless, but nonetheless, um, so as far as you've the, tested, everything works. Yeah, the GUI leaves something to be desired, but but that's that's all you need. Polish. So you've got your your USB. As long as you can read your Google device, um, it has to be uncompressed ROMs, so we can run. The by standard usual thing there. So sound, it's great performance, controller buttons. Now, this one's special because the one thing you can do that you've never been able to do usually on another emulator is um, back out, right? You can quit the game without having to shut down the entire system. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's it runs just like any other. So you can hit the PS3 PlayStation button and then hit exit out to or pause and go to the system. Yeah, so you can just go right back out again, just like you would any other game. That's awesome. But the main reason that we're covering this is because um, when the jailbreak method was released, there wasn't much homebrew. There was just the backup launcher, right? Right, right. And so, as we can slowly see, is more and more homebrews being put onto the PS3. No, just in case someone hasn't seen this episode before, um, last episode with the PS3 jailbreak, uh, you have to have no more than firmware 3.41 on your system, right? Right, right. So the, the old, there has not been a new jailbreak for the 3.50 or 3.42 or any of the other ones that came out afterwards. Right, so right now you're gonna have a choice. Do you want to use a 3D or not? Do I want to update for the move? Do I want to do all the stuff for 3D? Do I want to do all the? Now, fortunately, so well, with the exception of iPad, move stuff works on this older firmware. Good. There's only been one game as of the taping of this show that requires the update. What about uh, downgrades for custom or? Is there any downgrade? That's that's the other thing. Because you can execute unsigned code, somebody's got a custom firmware loader. So now the next step is to write custom firmware. Uh -huh. So uh, what they're going to do is <coughs> take the, the 3.5 and modify it so it's jailbroken so that you can launch it. So you can just plug in a USB stick into your PS3, boot it up, and it'll boot into a jailbroken 3.5. So yeah. that may uh, authenticate with PlayStation Network. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because right the... now, right now, it's like absolutely no. Like right, it's... right. They, if in the last episode they patched that, like as we're releasing it. Yeah. <laughs> like the the whole uh, DNS, redirect. DNS redirection is. Done. Oh, they blocked the servers. Yeah. yeah. Like heartbeats after like we said it, it was. That's well, a pretty simple. Yeah, move and block that. But unless they're doing um, some sort of uh, if if they're only doing version checking. People can get by, but there's more like methods to check. Well, the great thing is that right now, at this exact moment, this is such on the very beginning. That's crest the point. That's of the PS3. You know, we're gonna ride the wave yeah. again. 
So it's gonna. There's a whole lot of stuff that's gonna be coming out, and Sony's there's just a, gonna be mad. There's a custom Linux distro that this guy's making for a media center that you can just pop in and boot up. So it's cool stuff. I think I'm gonna go get a PS3 now. <laughs> Quickly before they know. Yeah, you oh. get a frack. Yeah, you gotta buy one that's on the shelf now. You got six hundred dollars. You only need three hundred dollars. Oh, do you have three hundred dollars? Uh, no. Oh. Kind of brought up. Uh, maybe permanently or for three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, twosmartguys.com is a place where you can catch all of our zany little shows where we zany, do. huh? Oh, yeah, zany. We're zany. I don't know I was ever zany, but, you know. Quirky. We're a, a to Z, we're, we're awesome to zany, or... Uh, you would be working on really throwing heaven. those out there. <laughs> it's, it's late. The hotness. It's almost <laughs> zany. A to Z, awesome to zany. <clears throat> I'm on cough medicine. <laughs> What's our excuse? <laughs> <laughs> we're tired, but man, Bach gets on cough medicine. Well, look out! <laughs> Woo! Things get zany. zany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, twosmartguys.com. The last one for the if you want to already if you want to jailbreak your PS3 and you haven't updated. That's where it's at. It's right. right. And then now and then you just everything more. else is coming out in the future. On that same and, and the forums are picking back up again. We got the PSP guys that are back on there talking about the latest stuff for the PS3. The latest stuff for the PS3. So it's pretty active right now. That's what I'm saying. The, the hope that I would have in. is that um, they use the PSP. To Jailbreak to PS3 because since I can plug a card into it, and you know, they're working on that. In fact, they, they do have one that uses the controller. See, I don't want I want to be able to stick a card in, pull a card out. And that way, it, it worries me about modifying the controller that way. The, the thing about the controller is they actually basically embedded one of those little controller chips into the uh, controller to do it. So it's yeah, it's, it's kind of like a hardware. It's a hardware they they have a chip. They're, they're yeah, the at chip that device. rate, buy the Arduino and load the you know. Anyways, check out our site, um, subscribe to the feed, get our new shows every week, and we do a live sh- show that's zany for a couple hours before we actually start I actually want to see that across the screen. Zany. 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 Come and spinning out, too. Yeah, it's, it, I want it to be more like the Batman. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> Zap. Zany. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> We're zany. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.